I'm Jeremy Cohen, and I have been the I'm the leader and founder of Quartet San Francisco. And Quartet San Francisco has specialized in a sort of a crossover style. We are fully trained classical musicians, but the quartet navigates in jazz, in tango, and Latin music. I'm Gordon Goodwin. I'm a composer, arranger, pianist, and saxophonist. Uh, live in L.A. Known Jeremy Cohen for probably thirty something years. I was uh, aware that he was a talented musician. I didn't know that at the time that his group ha had such a unique perspective for string quartets. They could play your Mozart and your Bartok, but also they can play jazz. We don't generally play music that's of a uh, classical era or romantic era. We tend to deal with music of our lifetimes. I'm Leslie Ann Jones, and I'm the recording engineer for the uh, Gordon Goodwin Quartet San Francisco project. First of all, I love doing big band, but then throw in Quartet San Francisco, who I've done several records with, and it's just um, great fun with uh, great arrangements and great, great playing. Well, this particular project is a focus on the music of Raymond Scott, who was very popular in the 1950s and 1960s when I was a kid. He never wrote music for cartoons, but his music was so charismatic and full of character that it was used by the music staff at Warner Brothers and put into the Looney Tunes cartoons. Jeremy asked if I'd be interested in, in participating in an idea he had for Quartet San Francisco plays the music of Raymond Scott. It was an instant yes, because I was intimate with the music of Raymond Scott, because in the 90s, I worked at Warner Brothers Animation, the music for shows like uh, Animaniacs and Pinky and the Brain and Sylvester and Tweety and tons of shows. And the foundational vocabulary for that scoring was Raymond Scott. For people who in their, in their 40s, 50s, 60s that grew up watching Warner Brothers cartoons, the music of Raymond Scott is familiar because we were so exposed to it as kids that so I feel like it's part of my DNA, you know, my musical DNA. Always had a lot of affection, you know, for uh, what the guy did, innovative, completely uh, with a lot of hair on it, you know? Just taking chances, fast tempos, quirky licks and phrases. Raymond Scott, who's sort of in the same era as uh, my father, uh, Spike Jones. So there's uh, some similarities in the kind of quirkiness of the writing and the era that it comes from. The fact that we're digging deep into his catalog for this record is uh, really rewarding, really fun. His music seemed to translate so well to the string quartet genre, and my personal love of that era and big band. The puzzle we had to solve was how can we do something that honors that tradition, but maybe has it evolve a little, maybe contemporize it a little bit, and then make it work for the string quartet as well. In working with Gordon and with the big band, he is a, also a sort of a crossover style big band. He's bringing a lot more hip harmonies and musical elements of popular music of this day. It's exciting. It's, I, I wrote the, this, this arrangement of Powerhouse, which is maybe his best known song, because they use this on Bugs Bunny cartoons a lot. It was the first chart I did, and I knew I, I, knew I had to get this right. This has been like the most amazing sandbox experience for me of having all of our favorite musical idioms together in and, and embrace the music of this composer. The best thing about mixing this style of music is everybody's in the room 
playing all at the same time. It's really meant to be heard that way. The producer in me is getting the very best people that I know at what they do and let them loose to do it. So you can feel the musicians just sit on the edge of their chairs and you can see their body language as the music was kind of um, infecting them, if you will. We uh, have a lot of work yet to do, editing and mixing and whatnot, but um, I can see, I can see the, the final target pretty clearly.